sorry, Turbo. Make sure you're count October 1st. You notice everything's crooked, by the way. Everything is crooked. Before it was sh like straight. Perhaps you might have an interest in picking up a good book to read. Well, I can't really say no either way. Like I said, I'm in the club now. It only feels right to me if you like me. If, if you, it only feels right for me to do something like that if you ask. Wait, wait. I didn't mean it like that. Uh, if you don't really want to, then I forgot I said anything, I guess. I know it's like that, Yuri. I wanted to try to be a part of the club. Even though I don't read as often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. And Yuri is big. She is big. Keep paying attention to the poster. Okay. The screen is tilted. Are you sure? I just feel like I was vice president and all. I should really help you get started on something like that. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. She moved and it scared me. <laughs> I don't want you to feel left out. I think that a book that you thought might enjoy. Short read. Show to get your attention. Uh, oh. Discuss it if you wanted. This is a girl accidentally being so cute. She picked out a book that she thinks that I like. Uh, I think you'll definitely read this. Enthusiastic look, look at the book. You. You can read at your own pace. I look forward to hearing for what you think. Uh, see, now it's straight. Keep an eye on this. Doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face already buried in a book. Can't but notice her intense expression. Meanwhile, next, Suki is rummaging in the closet. I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a bit more. So I think that wipe was either me choosing Yuri or Natsuki through my words choices. We catch a glimpse covered over the book. Looks like the same book that she lent to me. No, 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 no. Ah, crap. I think she noticed me looking at her. She's gonna glance at me when her eyes split. Only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. Sorry, I'm just spacing out. I might have this sense that made me uncomfortable. Oh, it's fine. Focus on probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. I'm just rereading a bit of it, so... Uh, there's a book you gave to me, right? Just want to reread some of it? For any particular reason, just curious of the copies of the two book. Ah, well, it stopped at the bookstore yesterday. No, that's not what I meant. I mean, just happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. So it's fairly obvious that she's not telling me. Guys, I'm sorry I'm speeding through this. A lot of this text is something we've already done the first time. So I'm going through some of the old text and reading some of the new text. Glad to hear. It starts to pick up. Hard time putting it down. Very engaging and a relatable story. A story about it anyway. Well, let's cover the book. Portrait of Markov. V O K R O M. Bach Rom. I just wasn't sure if Markov was something backwards. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's all about a religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. So, this is different. This book is different than the description she gave us before. And the people trapped in there have this trait that turns them into killing machines and a lust for blood. Sims 4, are cats and dogs worth it? I think so. If you can still get it half off, that is. I was able to buy it on Origin for half off, so to me, that was worth it. But the facility gets even worse when they start selectively breeding people to by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. The book, I mean. Not the thing about the limbs. That's kind of... That's kind of dark, isn't it? Are you able... Are you a fan of that sort of thing, Turbo? No, it's not that. It, it's definitely kind of... Enjoy these stories, I don't worry. I hope so, and I totally forgot about Yuri. And is into those things. Man, looking back at this poster is making me super nervous. She's sly and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that <clears throat> this kind of story is the kind that challenges your life from a strange new perspective. There is more dark in this one than there is it just me. Uh, we have a little bit, but yeah. I also forgot, forgot the company that made this game is making another one in 2018. Oh, interesting. When horrible things happen, just I hope that they charge like $5 for it, though. 
This was free, by the way, everybody. If you want to download this game, just log into your Steam. You can download Doki Doki Literature Club. Um, but I do hope that next time, if this company makes another game, that they charge at least like five bucks for it so they can get some money back here. I know they're getting a lot of publicity, but... Oh my god. But because the world is full of horrible people, then we're all worthless anyway. What the heck? That sounds like something that uh, Sayori would say. Hey, Kyrie. I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything. <coughs> yeah, that was a little weird. I didn't see the poster during that. Did I miss it? I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my whole body gets what? I forget to pay attention to other people. I didn't click through that text this time, by the way, guys. I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. Please stop me if I'm talking too much. That's... I don't really think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Ah, that's... That's true. In fact, might as well get started reading, right? Oh my god! What the hell is that? Yes. I mean, you don't have to... What are you saying? Let's just get the book. I look at the book and I put it out of my bag. It's about if I sit here, right? I slip in the seat next to Yuri's. Ah, oh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. Hey, can you get here, please? Okay. All right. Hey, Kyrie, come here. Come here. I apologize, guys. My heart. To, uh, little Kyrie is a watchdog. So if she hears a neighbor, like, six houses down, close their, their car door, she goes ape. Not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not very used to. That's it. Reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. All right. I opened the book and started the prologue. Kyrie, come here. McAdoo wants to pet you, because you're being crazy. Not particularly a bad thing. Maybe it's just a distraction, but the feel... But the feeling is somewhat comforting. You're in the corner of my eye. I realize she may not be looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. I was just bothering. Oh. I can't read it fast. You really apologize a lot, don't you? I do? You don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean, haha. <laughs> Okay, this should work, right? I slam my desk up against Yuri's and I hold a book more between the two of them. No. You can pet. It's just a... The pet command is just a simple counter. That's all that it is. I suppose so. Feels like my left arm is in the way, so I use my right hand. Difficulties in the page. Here... All right. Hey, hey, both of you stop it. I'm looking for stuff. Come here, Kyrie. Everybody's petting you. Come here. Hey. Just too busy looking out the window. Ah, don't do the same with the right arm on the same side of the book. Turn the page. Feels like an intimate exchange. Come here. Come here. Everyone wants to pet you. Feel the warmth of Yuri's face and the port of my vision. Are you ready? Eh. Oh, sorry. One second. She broke my blinds a little bit, so there's like a little crack that she peers out of. I just put my work chair up against it, so now she can't look out the window anymore. She has been put on notice. Okay. So my being patient it takes you a bit longer, but at least I can do. I'm trying to see if anything pops up in the background. Yeah, thanks. Continue reading. Uh, Yuri no longer asked me to turn the page. Instead, just assumes that she finished before me. 
I continue through the first chapter in silence, even so turning the page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her, she catches under her own thumb. Hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character sort of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, uh, she doesn't think so. The way that the character she second guesses things that she says. Ah. Is that what you're talking about? Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? Never mind. Uh, do we get that part yet? I don't know. Yeah. Feeling alright? Uh. Yuri seems a little bit fidgy since we started reading. You can rest if you're feeling a little sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hand on her chest to feel her heartbeat. Uh, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I just need some water. Alright, don't push yourself. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Turbo? Did something happen just now? Huh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting strange, I guess. So you don't know anything. What do you mean I don't know anything? What is it that I'm supposed to know? Sorry, I can't say that I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. What is that supposed to mean? No, nothing. Hold on a second. Do you see this? This one. Can you hear me? There's a little devil inside all of us. Breathe their manufactured prescription. Their artificially reality. This is a, ri a writhing, twisted mess of dread, loathing judgment, uh, elitism, self-doubt. All trash to escape the feeble hold of their host, seeping through every little crevice they can find. Into their willpower, starving them of all their motivation and desire. Into their stomach, forcing them to drown their guilt and comfort food. Or newly opened gash in their skin. Hidden only by the sleeve of a cute new shirt. Such a deplorable tangled mass already present in every single one of them. That's why I chose them not to blame myself for their actions. All I did was untie the knot. Yeah, guys. This is, uh... This is certainly interesting. I just noticed that now. Ah, oh, don't worry. I believe you, silly. Yuri just doesn't... This does this sometimes. It's not alarming. All right, if you say so. Anyway, why don't you start with our poems with each other today? Eh? Should we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while. Just figure to start without her. Is that okay? Eh, I guess I was just asking. I stand up, make a mental note where I left off in the book and slip it back into my bag. Okay, so then normally I would have two other options here. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It's probably fair that I shared mine with her first. Turbo, if you're going to take this cup seriously, then go home. What? Harsh. Well, what do you expect me to say after you put effort into this? You think I'm that stupid? Yeah, this is being different right now. I'm not a writer. Maybe it's not very good, but yeah, I put effort into it. We all start somewhere, right? If you're still proud of your first poem you ever wrote, then it'd be good to read it. Painful to think about? Fine. Well, sorry. You'll get better anyway. I'll tell you what to prove on, and you're better off just trying again. Fair enough. Well, to each their own, I guess. Anyway, I gotta share mine now. No, you probably think it's stupid. Alright, so we know this. Be careful of this poster changing. No change. Yeah. I told you you weren't gonna like it. I like it. What? To be honest, just to be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't make uh, take any of my writing seriously. 
Isn't the point isn't the point of forums to express themselves?